I am Carly with Badcock Home Furniture in Rocky Mount. From our Badcock family to yours, we congratulate and wish the graduating class of 2020 the very best. Whether you are furnishing your first apartment or upgrading your home, we have the furniture or accessories for your style and budget. Visit us and experience the Badcock difference. And with no credit refused, at Badcock Home Furniture, we will always treat you right. Badcock Home Furniture, Rocky Mount.
Congratulations, graduates. Today is a great day. It is a day to celebrate with your family and friends. A day you and your parents have been waiting for since kindergarten. I'm sure you didn't expect a graduation or school year like this one, and for this I apologize. However, this does not lessen your accomplishments or achievements this school year. In fact, it has made you stronger. You have excelled in this new normal, and for that I congratulate your efforts. On this special day, students, please take the time to recognize your parents, teachers, and all those that have an impacted you on this journey. They have supported you and they should be recognized on this day. In closing, students remember, graduations are not the end of a journey, it is the beginning of a new one. On behalf of the Nash Rocky Mount Board of Education, congratulations. Hello, I'm Lou Honeycutt and I have the privilege of being the president of Nash Community College. I am so honored to give the welcome today for the virtual graduation. What a strange year we live in, but what a great event that is still occurring virtually, but to celebrate these students in the, the Nash Rocky Mount Early College. We are so thrilled that the, we call it the Early College, that the Early College is on our campus. We have an incredible campus and it would not be nearly as incredible if we did not have this component on it. We consider Team Eagle a big part of Team Nash, and we consider Team Nash the best team on the planet, so that's a good part, of, a good team to be a part of. I want to congratulate all the students that are graduating today through this virtual graduation, and certainly thank the, or congratulate the parents as well, because what an accomplishment that you and your students have made. So I wish you the best of luck in the future, and the best of luck through this graduation. Stay safe, healthy, wash your hands, and don't touch your faces. Greetings all. I would like to extend welcome and gratitude to the following. Members of the Nash Rocky Mount Schools Board of Education, Dr. Steve Ellis, Superintendent, Nash Rocky Mount Schools, members of the Superintendent's Cabinet and Central Office personnel, faculty and staff of the Nash Rocky Mount Early College High School, also known as Team Eagle, members of the Nash Community College Board of Trustees, Dr. Lou Honeycutt, President, Nash Community College, faculty and staff of Nash Community College, also known as Team Nash. I would also like to say a special thank you to Ms. Coletta Edwards Warren, our school counselor, for that beautiful rendition of the national anthem. And also, I would like to thank our Early College Academic Booster Club for providing the decorations for our graduation. To all the friends and family members joining watch parties, thank you for celebrating the graduates with us through virtual means. Parents, guardians, and friends, on behalf of the graduates, I say thank you for supporting them throughout their education. 
Please note the following special recognitions represented by cords and medallions. Gold ribbon medallion, summa cum laude, 4.23 GPA or higher. Silver ribbon medallion, magna cum laude, 4.0 GPA or higher. Bronze ribbon medallion, cum laude, 3.75 GPA or higher. Blue and Silver Honor Cord, Associate Degree Recipient. Silver Honor Cord, Business Industry Certification. Gold Cord, National Honor Society. Clear Medallion, Soaring Through the Center Achievement. It is my great honor to be part of this unprecedented graduation ceremony for the Class of 2020. Graduates, you may have experienced a range of emotions as your super senior year came to a close during a pandemic. It is completely understandable for you to grieve the loss of events that you have been looking forward to for a very long time. The situation we are in puts me in the mind of these words. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. You continued in your college classes when they moved online. You continued striving for your future goals despite challenges. We took old traditions and re envisioned them. That is the core value of us early college eagles. We see challenges as opportunities for growth and we innovate to continue soaring. Graduates, we were honored to share a personalized graduation ceremony with each of you and your guests. That was then made into this virtual graduation ceremony for the entire class. Your Eagle family is proud of you. And now, without further ado, presenting the Nash Rocky Mount Early College High School Class of 2020. I would like to welcome you to the unprecedented 2020 virtual commencement ceremony of the Nash Rocky Mount Early College graduating class. Before I begin, I would like to send an enormous thank you to my teachers, family, friends, and anyone who has supported me along this endeavoring journey. Your support has kept me going and propelled me to where I am today. I wish I had the time to thank everyone personally, but instead of being a speech, this would turn into a rather long monologue. To my fellow classmates, congratulations. All those nights staying up to finish a college assignment or worrying if you were going to be able to turn in something on time because you procrastinated two hours before it was due are finally over. Well, at least here at ECHS and NCC, there will be many more nights staying up to complete an assignment at your next destination. The moment we have all been working towards and hoping for is finally here, even if it's not in the way we imagined. But nonetheless, as Drake would say, we made it. I will admit that in the beginning, I wanted to go to a traditional high school and experience all the crazy things high schoolers do. My father was the one who I would say forced me to enroll. However, I soon realized that it was the best decision he has made for me, though I was not too quick to admit it because of my ego. He would jokingly ask me, are you sure you do not want to leave early college? I can get you transferred to a normal high school. I would just ignore him because it pained me to admit he was right and I was wrong. Well, here it is, Dad. After five years, I'm finally admitting I was wrong and you were right. Throughout our five-year journey, we have grown as well as the early college. When we were freshmen, we had our classroom in the Elves with our class size being capped at 60. Now the freshmen enjoy a luxurious building with larger classrooms. The current freshmen do not understand the struggle of walking in the pouring rain from Elf 2 to Elf 6, and then when you get in there, it would be freezing cold. However, I would not trade these experiences for anything because they allowed me to appreciate the little things such as not getting wet walking from class to class. We all gained valuable experiences that we would not necessarily have gotten at other high schools. The core focus of our program is AVID. AVID prepared us for the next part of our journey in so many ways. We learned skills such as time management. Even if your plans are not to go to college, time management is still utilized in almost every aspect of life. Every year we had spring design challenges. This taught us a variety of things. It shows how to research, problem solve, teamwork, and finally how to present. Our time at ECHS allowed us to develop skills that went beyond the classroom to help us in our next part of life. I am thankful for being in the early college program 
not only for the education I received, but also for the people I met and the relationships I formed. There are really amazing people, both teachers and students, which make this program possible. The support from both ECHS teachers and staff, as well as NCC, was beyond anything I could have imagined. You could just feel the overwhelming support from the teachers and staff. They wanted you to be successful more than you did yourself. Even if I wanted to fail, I don't think I could have just because of the amount of support I was giving. I always knew that if I needed something, I had someone there for me. As we transition into our next phase in life, do not forget where you came from. This is not a goodbye. This is simply a new chapter in a book. I will never forget what the early college did for me, and I have plans to keep in touch and come back and support this program in any way I can. Class of 2020, I wish you the best of luck, and I hope, hope you accomplish everything you set out to do. Do not stop for anything, keep pushing, and reach new highs. It took an extraordinary ability to accomplish what you have. But just know, in the next part of your life, it will take an even greater ability, which you have already proven that you have the determination and resilience to achieve that greater ability. The late Steve Jobs said, We're here to put a dent in the universe. Otherwise, why else even be here? Remember this going forward. Anything you do in the next chapter of your life, make sure you are doing it with a purpose and striving to be the best version of yourself. Whether you go to college, the military, or straight into the workforce, try to leave a dent in the universe. It was an honor being your classmate for five years, and I hope to see you all again. Not too close, though, because social distancing is important. Thank you, and I wish you all the best of luck. Raven Vikel Slade earned an associate in science from Nash Community College, will be attending East Carolina University Honors College, majoring in public health. Maximiliano Ochoa, earned an associate in arts at Nash Community College. He will be attending East Carolina University, majoring in architectural technology. Leon Wade Starkey earned a criminal justice certificate at Nash Community College. He will be continuing his studies at Nash Community College. Down, 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 right there. One, two. And now Kevin Matthew Richardson earned an associate in science from Nash Community College. He will be attending Western Carolina University majoring in computer science. Jameer Evanden Pulley earned an associate in arts from Nash Community College. He will be attending the University of North Carolina at Greensboro, majoring in media studies. Mary Catherine Bailey earned an associate in science as well as a certification in nurse certified nursing assistant from Nash Community College. She will be attending Spartan College majoring in nursing. <laughs> Hannah Kaylin Reed Haynes earned an associate in science as well as the Certified Nursing Assistant Certification from Nash Community College. She will be attending East Carolina University Honors College, majoring in nursing. Sarah Michelle Johnson earned an Associate in Arts from Nash Community College. She will be attending Methodist University majoring in elementary education. Jonathan Tucker Ellis earned an associate in engineering degree from Nash Community College. He will be attending East Carolina University majoring in biomedical engineering. Mallory Dare Clagg earned an associate in science as well as a pharmacy technician certification from Nash Community College. She will be attending Campbell University, majoring in pharmaceutical sciences. Rachel 
Lee Seglia. Earned an associate in science from Nash Community College. She will be attending North Carolina State University, majoring in microbiology. Caitlin Joy Moore. Earned an associate in science from Nash Community College. She will be attending Elizabeth City State University, majoring in criminal justice, as well as pursuing a pilot's license. Brian Patrick Joyner will be attending East Carolina University, majoring in chemistry. Terrell Isaiah Winstead earned an associate in arts from Nash Community College. He will attend University of North Carolina at Charlotte, majoring in computer science. <laughs> Leslie Laura earned an associate in arts degree from Nash Community College. She will be attending East Carolina University, majoring in elementary education. <laughs> Justin Thomas Joyner earned a gaming simulation and programming certificate from Nash Community College. He will be attending East Carolina University, majoring in computer science. Desmone Amar Anderson earned an associate in science degree from Nash Community College. She will be attending East Carolina University, majoring in nursing. <laughs> Samuel Paul Tope III earned an associate in arts degree from Nash Community College. He will be attending Western Governors University majoring in networking and telecommunications. Scott Howard Boyd earned an associate in science degree from Nash Community College. He will be attending Appalachian State University, majoring in political science and public administration. Iris Diana Hedgefeld earn an associate in science degree from Nash Community College. She will be attending East Carolina University, majoring in computer science. Rashad Antonio Simmons. Earn an associate in arts degree from Nash Community College. He will be attending apprentice school in Newport News, Virginia and pursuing a welding technology certificate from Nash Community College. Matthew Scott Johnson earned an associate in science degree from Nash Community College. He will be attending North Carolina Wesleyan College, majoring in business administration and management. Christopher Hernandez earned an associate in science degree from Nash Community College, as well as a criminal justice certificate. He will be entering the workforce. <laughs> Kayla Grace Walker, earned an associate in arts degree from Nash Community College. She will be attending Regent University Honors College majoring in English with a Biblical Studies concentration. Brianna Olivia Johnson earned an Associate in Arts degree from Nash Community College. She will be attending East Carolina University, majoring in Speech and Hearing. Michelle Anais Martinez Franco earned an associate in arts degree from Nash Community College. She will be attending North Carolina Wesleyan College, majoring in psychology. <laughs> Mariah Lynn Wires earned an associate in science degree from Nash Community College. 
as well as a criminal justice certificate. She will be attending North Carolina Wesleyan College, majoring in criminal justice. <laughs> Megan Alyssa Rowley will be continuing her studies at Nash Community College. <laughs> Jalen Malik Pryor is earning an Associate in Science from Nash Community College. Jalen will be attending the University of North Carolina at Charlotte, majoring in computer science and Japanese. <laughs> David Solana Luna, earning an Associate in Engineering from Nash Community College. David will be attending East Carolina University, majoring in Mechanical Engineering. John David Dixon is earning an Associate in Arts from Nash Community College. John will be attending North Carolina Wesleyan College, majoring in Computer Information Systems. <laughs> William Thomas Spate, earning an Associate in Science from Nash Community College. William will be attending North Carolina Wesleyan College, majoring in Computer Information Systems. <laughs> Anna Lee Spate, earning an Associate in Science from Nash Community College. Anna will be attending East Carolina University, majoring in Elementary Education. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Davis, earning an Associate in Science from Nash Community College, also Certified Nursing Assistant Certification from Nash Community College. Hannah will be attending Barton College, majoring in Nursing. <laughs> Alexis Marie Fall, earn an Associate in Science from Nash Community College. Alexis will be attending East Carolina University, majoring in biology and pre-dentistry. <laughs> Trinity Alyssa Arrington, earn an associate in science from Nash Community College. Trinity will be attending East Carolina University, majoring in nursing. <laughs> Kanaya Shante Jamison, earned an associate in arts from Nash Community College. She will be attending Barton College, majoring in social work. <laughs> Braden Joyner Hodges earned an associate in science degree from Nash Community College, as well as a certified nursing assistant certificate. He will be attending North Carolina State University, majoring in secondary education with a concentration in English. Jacob David Kendrick earned an associate in an engineering degree from Nash Community College. He will be attending North Carolina State University, majoring in aerospace and mechanical engineering. Anaya Lene Dunstan earned an associate in arts degree from Nash Community College. She will be attending North Carolina Wesleyan College, majoring in psychology. <laughs> Brianka Deshawn White earned an associate in science degree from Nash Community College, as well as a certified nursing assistant certificate. She will be attending North Carolina Wesleyan College, majoring in pre-med biomedical. Camille Lane Naren earned an Associate in Arts degree from Nash Community College. She will be attending Halifax Community College, pursuing an Associate degree in Dental Hygiene. <laughs> John Devante Battle earned an Associate in Engineering degree from Nash Community College. 
Devante will be attending East Carolina University, majoring in biological sciences and computer science. Lynn Ellen Wheeler earned an associate in science degree from Nash Community College. She will be attending Barton College, majoring in social work. William James Kobelnik will be serving the United States Marine Corps. Samuel Thomas Lloyd earned an associate in science degree from Nash Community College. He will be attending North Carolina State University, majoring in chemistry. Brandon Joseph Smith earned a criminal justice certificate at Nash Community College. He will be attending Nash Community College pursuing a certificate in basic law enforcement training. <laughs> Haley Renee Potter earned a criminal justice certificate from Nash Community College. She will be attending Liberty University, majoring in paralegal studies. <laughs> Maharet Zoe Abeba Moore will be attending Elizabeth City State University, majoring in social work. <laughs> Dua Nadal Hassan earned an associate in science degree from Nash Community College, as well as a budgeting finance certificate. She will be attending North Carolina State University, majoring in business administration and fashion design. Shandasia LaKyla Tillery earned an early childhood education certificate. She will be attending Ultimate Medical Academy and entering the workforce. <laughs> Sasha Kawan Simone Bunch earned an Associate in Engineering degree from Nash Community College. She will be attending North Carolina State University, majoring in Business Administration with a concentration in Information Technology. Allison Lane Giddens earned an Associate in Arts degree from Nash Community College. She will be attending Belmont Abbey College, majoring in Social Work and Psychology. <laughs> Naomi Anai Tifuentes earned a Human Services Technology Certificate at Nash Community College. She will be attending Barton College, majoring in nursing. <laughs> Jaleel Janelle Jaquan Scott will be serving in the United States Marine Corps. <laughs> Tessa Renee Jones earned an Early Childhood Education Certificate from Nash Community College. She will be attending Ultimate Medical Academy and entering the workforce. <laughs> Sherna Siddiqui earned an Associate in Arts degree from Nash Community College, as well as a Certified Nursing Assistant Certificate. She will be attending North Carolina Wesleyan College, majoring in biology, pre-med. Hunter Joseph Bozell earned an associate in science degree from Nash Community College. He will be attending Barton College, majoring in English. By the power vested in me, by the Nash Rocky Mount Board of Education and the state of North Carolina. I publicly pronounce you a graduate 
of the Nash Rocky Mount Early College High School with all rights and privileges afforded thereby. Congratulations, Eagle Class of 2020.
Carly with Badcock Home Furniture in Rocky Mount. From our Badcock family to yours, we congratulate and wish the graduating class of 2020 the very best. Whether you are furnishing your first apartment or upgrading your home, we have the furniture or accessories for your style and budget. Visit us and experience the Badcock difference. And with no credit refused, at Badcock Home Furniture, we will always treat you right. Badcock Home Furniture, Rocky Mount.